Okay guys, so in today's video we're gonna hop into some more pit boost only, a very entertaining arena with lots of pro players. Yeah, no, who am I kidding? Let me go play someone actually half decent at the video game. All right, in today's video, I got another collab actually, treating you guys with two collabs back to back. We got Candy Skill here. Uh, you can't see his profile, that's really unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, he's a very good friend of mine, also another YouTuber, and I heavily recommend that you guys go check his channel out. And in his channel's fashion, today we're gonna do free power-ups, but we do only meme strats. So it's like meme strat 1v1s, and we're only allowed to play like off-meta stuff. So stuff that's very unusual, stuff you don't see often uh, in free power-ups, which uh, should allow us to play off-meta things a bit better. And for that, I think I can try Wiz Farm Super, which on offside is never played. It's played on longer maps, but I want to see if I can make it work on a shorter map. So uh, good luck, Candy Skill, and we're going to see if we can make uh, Wiz Farm Super of all strategies work here. So uh, this is meta on longer maps, right, as I said, but on short maps, it's literally never used. I've never seen anyone use Wiz Farm Super on offside. I would be uh, shocked if anyone at uh, sorry above the level of Ceramic Crucible um, played the strategy in um, in free power ups in uh, you know like actually seriously uh, on like offside. But we're gonna just see what works here. So he has not placed the farm. He's just sent blues, which is. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> you know what? Just to honor it, I'm gonna super start. He's playing Super Farm Village, I think, which is really funny. <laughs> I want to play Super 2. I want to place it as well, but he's echoing, so it's not working out too, too well. Um, like, I'm running something that is actually viable to a degree, just off meta, right? Like, he went full-on meme. <laughs> I thought what we were, like, what we agreed on in DMs is we play off-meta stuff, but that's next level off-meta, honestly. So, uh, yeah. This is uh, really cool to see from Candy Skill. I think this might be Super Monkey Farm Village, which is really funny. I'm just gonna use a lightning here, make sure we don't leak too, too low. And, uh, yeah, if he has Super Farm Village, I unironically think I outlast, which is really funny. Uh, so yeah, he forces the lightning up, that's fetid there. And I'm just gonna set that boy to strong, and that's basically the plan, right? This should be relatively chilling to blacks, it won't be fully chilling to blacks, but like, mostly. So that's the idea. Uh, I'm just gonna send him some, uh, some blacks myself, because super does struggle to blacks, actually. It can't defend those as 0-0, zero, zero, which is really unfortunate. Uh, he is super far more to- oh my god. That is one hell of a loadout. And he has that super set to strong so that the mortar can target the the other layers. But this should still leak, I think. Yeah, it's still leaking. Just a bit, but... Yeah, that's actually mortar farm super against whiz farm super. That's really funny. We both liked super on this one. Uh, obviously, if I went something like a dot here, this would be way better than wizard. But, I mean, yeah, we're playing off-meta stuff here. Uh, so, yeah, I can't really rush this for now, I don't think. Is this rushable at all? Probably not. I'm gonna try, though. See if this works. Oh, he sold the soup. Uh, sorry, the mortar and got a laser blast. So, that obviously defends any yellows whatsoever. He's gonna be region white. That's fair to do. I'm just gonna go for this extra wizard here. Uh, so far it's decently working out, but he's rushing me a bit too much. I'm just gonna go for double lightning, and we leaked a bit, but not too hard. Uh, we have three plantations to his two, which I guess is not that bad of a deficit. He's doing fine, honestly. So we obviously forced the mortar back up with, um... With this uh, little rush here, there's just a single lead. And obviously he's gonna need camo detection around 12, so we don't need to send anything extra. We don't need to be too, too fancy in the rushing. And yeah, I'm just gonna send some spaced camo pinks here. 
get the monkey sense on that wizard and force the bigger blast with uh, the space camel pinks. Now I'm just gonna quickly send some zebras, see if I can rush him a little bit and if he defends. Ah, I don't know if he does. Oh wow, just barely. Well done, well done. All right, that was really cool. He got the bigger blast off. Now the issue is I can re-rush and depending on what track power he has, this could be an issue for him. Let me try something here. Something like this, right? Does this work? Do the camo pinks get through? They do! Okay, we take an early win. He had lightning the whole time. I'm surprised he didn't use it. So uh, that's one win. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him I had super. Wait, all right, so yeah, he picks whatever maps he wants. We got Yellow Brick Road here. What's a good off meta on Yellow Brick Road? Oh, I know, Heli Village Ice. I wanna do Heli Village Ice. That's a really funny loadout. <laughs> yeah, let me do Heli Village Ice, let's do this. Mm. So this is obviously very off meta stuff. You will not see Heli Village Ice often. Heli Farm Ice is very often played. Heli Village Ice, not so much. So the optimal strategy here, oh my God, he's running Boomerang. Okay, well the optimal strategy here would be to just go for an ice in the back so we can eco as hard as possible. A spot like here would be okay. And uh, yeah, this is very can this kill video themed. You will find this kind of strategy used a whole lot in candy scale videos. He has Boomer Bomb, okay. Looks like we're both eco and actually. This is an eco mirror match, it would seem. Uh, can I place a nice, oh my god, I can, but it's just scuffed. Okay. There we go, that should be nicely timed. Obviously we want the double ice for um, maximized, you know, popping power uh, from our ice here. Uh, if you don't get how double ice works, I'm gonna explain that actually while we're both just econ, because we're just gonna both send blues at each other and this easily defends, obviously, so I don't need to commentate too, too much. Because uh, yeah, obviously sending pings for him is not worth it, like, because it hurts his eco too hard. Same thing for me. Um, sending things is just not worth it at all as an eco player. Like in eco mirror matches, you will only see um, grouped being sent usually uh, for the first like lots of rounds. And um, so I was like getting to right. Okay, double ice. Why it's effective? So basically, uh, how it works is um, ice freeze lasts for two and a half seconds. Yeah. And, um, sorry, no, it lasts for 1.25 seconds, and then the ice timing for, like, uh, the ice attacks are two and a half seconds. So what that means is that you can time the ices in a way that, like, they constantly refreeze, um, like, one after the other, and it creates, like, an infinite freezing cycle, so that balloons get permanently frozen in place, and that's why double ice is so effective, right? That's why, like, it's so strong um, against, like, anything at all. <laughs> Just double ice um, literally solos any balloon if you time them properly. Uh, like, it solos ceramics, uh, but it can't pop the zebra and white layers, obviously. So it has that problem. Uh, permafrost is going to be needed here uh, to catch any um, pinks. And I'm going to need to go for a heli to defend the whites that are incoming right now. Let me go for it. So I might need quad dots if he keeps sending those um, those whites, but right now he isn't. Uh, I'm gonna go for quad dots anyways. I don't trust this. Yeah, I'm right not to trust this, honestly. Oh my God, that's a lot of eco, <laughs> holy. Uh, I should stop ecoing at like 750, I suppose, something like that. Make sure we defend round 13. But yeah, wow, this is a problem. <laughs> Some stuff is getting through. Nothing too major yet, but... Okay, I'll go for a village like right here should be good. Something like this, yeah. Now, if he sends anything, just monkey fort defense. I'm going to need to sell that ice and I'm going to need to rebuy it eventually, which is... Something for sure. 
let me go for the camera detection and we want to go for a shards under camera detection basically right is the idea and he went for glaive lord he has boomer chipper bomb yeah that's what he has oh my god do i defend here hello uh okay looks like i do this ice is horrendously timed Let me quickly lightning this, make sure I don't die. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, that's an awkward ice to place. Should have fought that over. Okay, there we go, that's replaced. Let me make sure all of those white layers get popped. It's really the white layers that are, like, really annoying. Um, I'm gonna need to rebuy that ice again. Man, this is rough. Okay, this is good so far. Uh, this is once again horrendously timed. See, this is the problem with this strategy. <laughs> oh my god! I should have fought. Oh, I should have fought this over, man. This might be a very late timing. I'm bad at quickly ice timing stuff, bro. Okay, there we go. This should be nice for now. Yeah, it's getting nicely um, stored here for sure. I once again leaked a tiny bit. It's gonna happen in tiny bits over and over, I suppose. Uh, I'm just gonna mix Tico now since he's doing the same. He might be sending me a Moab. In which case, lightnings would be definitely useful. Yeah, I'm just gonna lightning this. And gonna quad dots as well. And there we go, that should defend nicely. Alright, good. This is this is great so far. This ice is horrendously timed part 300. Um <laughs> Man, this strat sure is something, huh? Okay, let me defend here. Thank you. Thank goodness Ice Shards is this broken if you use it right. Um, not gonna lie though, this is just fairly scary. So I'm just gonna stop like ecoing for now. He might be sending me a BFB. Yeah, he is. Okay. So I'm gonna Ice stall this, of course. Let me Lightning as well. Are we good here? No, we're not. Let me go for nice shots back. Oh my god. This is such an annoying rush, bro. Let me damage boost. I don't care. Let me just damage boost. Let me go for the Apache now. And there we go. This is now finally good. <laughs> oh my. Took a lot out of me, but we got here eventually. Actually, this should defend fine. I'm just gonna go for jungle drums and that should be it. I don't think all those whites underneath are gonna be an issue because I got jungle drums and all those village buffs. Yeah, juicy. Okay, so now we finally defend. Uh, I think anything. Yeah, he's still ecoing. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that he still ecoes because if he saves up to send me a CMG, I'm gonna need to save up as well, yeah? So that's the idea. Um, I'm just gonna save up here, now it's round 23, and I'm gonna go for a monkey town to increase the eco that we get out of like um, our, uh, our pings that, we, that we're sending at them, right? Uh, obviously buying IFR is pointless because, you know, waste a tiny bit of money. Although it's a whopping $270, it's $270 we could be putting into ecoing since we already have the camera detection and that's all it gives. So yeah, just some things for you guys to think about. Um, think about these kinds of things sometimes. But yeah, so we have two damage boosts, no lightnings left. The damage boost use was rather unfortunate. I don't mind using lightnings, but for late game, um, using damage boosts is not advised, especially if you have stuff like Heli Ice Village. 
but he has boomer bomb chipper which is for sure an interesting loadout it's basically bomb village chipper but without the village part which uh, is all the advantages that bomb village chipper provides so it's kind of sad uh, so yeah, this is going late game. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the late game content. I mean, if you are, you already know. There are a couple of ways you can support me. If you haven't already subscribed to Candy Skill, go ahead. But you know, subscribing to my channel is also an option, right? Uh, it's a simple press up button. Like, you click off full screen, you click subscribe, and boom, that's done. That's all you need. That's the whole effort. Congrats. Uh, yeah. So, you know, if you guys enjoy the content, definitely consider it. Uh, liking the video is also the same kind of effort. It's one button press, you know, so like you press full screen out. Okay, you press subscribe, you press like boom. Good job. <laughs> Supported me um, more than I could ever ask, honestly. So uh, yeah, just things for you guys to think about. I don't have much to say on this late game, honestly. What I think... Okay, let me try to think when this very uncanny loadout could die. Uh, so Chippa has received new changes lately, which I haven't talked about. So Chippa now stalls CMGs by, I think, 20, 20 or 25. One of those percent. Um, and yeah, it just like stalls them by, um, you know, sucking them in with the like um, Omni Shredder um, upgrade, which is the new, um, new upgrade on the left side, the new Max uh, Tier 4, right? So that's uh, that's one thing, and uh, it also obviously sucks up CMGs, which is um, a huge change because it stalls them um, much harder now. By you know like the whole time that they're sucked in and then they come back out, and then like they're twenty percent slower or twenty five, I forget which one it is. Um, so yeah, overall it's a pretty strong stall. Uh, why is my why can I not move my heli? Hello, let me move my heli, please. Let me move my heli, please. Okay, um, my screen wasn't working for a second. That is concerning. I almost died out of that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that would have been very sad, honestly. Um, thankfully, though, this has not happened. But yeah, I really couldn't click on my screen. Like, it wouldn't move me anywhere. Which, you know, concerning stuff, but... Yeah. Let me just go for more Apaches now that I can. This is within village range. Okay, he's sending. Let me stall this. Go for another Apache. I bought camo detection for no reason, which is rather unfortunate. Uh, thankfully, I can just go for more helis. This should do the trick. I can go for one more, but it's not within village range, which is rather problematic. Oh, never mind. It actually is, just barely. Cool. Okay, so that's five Apaches that I once again bought camo detection on for no reason at all, which is uh, something definitely to think about. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But this is all in range, so that's pretty good. In terms of stall, I have the better stall for sure. Ice is way, way better than um, Chippa. And he has no other stalling powers, which is... Actually, he could have something like a big bloom slow, come to think of it. Since he has, like, Boomer, he shouldn't be worried about, like, the mid game. So... Yeah, I guess that would be interesting, right? I could also try running an off-meta aggressive strategy. I might do that um, next. I might go, like, some um, very bad powers that usually don't work as, like, an aggressive loadout and see if that works out against Candy Skill. It would be funny, but he's really used to like defending aggressive power, so I might lose that one. Um, but yeah, we're just like chilling, ecoing, nothing too crazy going on at the moment. But yeah, as you can see, I don't even have that much money, despite us having like free power ups, money and stuff. I don't have that much. I have 7.5k eco almost, but yeah, I've been ecoing pretty much optimally the whole time, the most that I could have done, possibly. And uh, yeah, I guess he was just testing my defense with that round 30's UMG, I don't know. Regardless, right? We're both just ecoing into one another, but this is a winning end game for me. It's like in chess, right? Like, uh, it's I'm basically up a queen and a rook at this point. Because uh, of the towers that I brought, which are way less off meta than uh, 
than his are. Like those are strategies you could actually be seeing, but that are just never used. That's uh, the theme that I'm going with here. He is just full on memeing, which I guess is very much a trademark. Um, this is very much the kind of study you can expect to see on Kenny Skills channel if you're interested in that kind of content. You guys already know, most of you, what kind of content I upload. If you're new to this channel, by the way, thanks for like tagging along. Thanks for watching this far. I really appreciate it. Like, there's probably a few new viewers every video, although most of you have seen a couple uh, here and there. But um, yeah, it's interesting to think that every day some more people are like tuning in to watch my videos and like watch me talk while I, I play video games. That's actually a really funny thought. <laughs> wow, okay. So let me go for this village here. Under range, of course. I'm gonna keep everything uh, discounted as well. So like the double village threat is really good to keep everything cheaper. I'm gonna go for a few more helis, I would say. Probably a smart idea. And uh, I think honestly, if I rush like round 38, we should be like winning, but I'm gonna just wait to rush like when he rushes. Probably not a bad decision. I don't think. I'm just gonna stop ecoing at 10k. I think no reason to eco any further because we're soon gonna rush each other anyways. Um, I'm just gonna keep like a chain of villages to get my helis up discounted at discounted prices. This is discounted. Oh wow, he's lagging. That might be helis doing that. Okay, and I'm just gonna rush. I'm just gonna rush right now, it's round 39, and I'm just not looking to have him DC. So that's why I'm rushing now, right? Because yeah, if he disconnected, it would be a big problem. I don't think that's a rush, no, it's just BFBs, yeah. Honestly, I have so much money to rush with, I'd be surprised if he defends any of this. Yeah, I can just stall this stuff, honestly. I think I'm just gonna stall it out. I'm gonna pop these BFBs real quick. Could these get popped, please, and thank you. Oh my goodness. Because, yeah, the issue is he has infinite stall against... Um, COMGs, uh, not COMGs, BFBs, right? Against BFB layers, he's completely chilling, which I am not. So I need to keep that much in mind. Probably just gonna call two arms and boost. Okay, nice, we take the win. Phew, that was actually pretty intense. So yeah, GG's to Candy Skill, that's game two and game three, which is probably gonna be the last one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go a meme aggressive strategy this time around. Something that you very much wouldn't see often used uh, is what I'm going for here. I hope he doesn't pick a map that's too long. He picks the rift, okay. Going with the Ziggy trend, I see, I see. So an offbeat aggressive strategy would definitely be cool here. Um, what could I use actually that's like really interesting? I could use something with jam packed. Jam packed is not used often. What can I use? Jam pack tower blindness. No one uses this. No one uses jam packed tower blindness, bro. I want to go jam packed tower blindness. Okay, Dotling Farm Boomer. Let's do this. Aggro, but like it's horrendously bad. <laughs> do not run jam packed tower blindness if you're actually going for some wins, bro. That's my number one advice. Uh, I could have run something with the activated, but that's rather cringe instead of, um, you know, meme. Jam-packed hard blindness is purely meme. He might have sent me something on Discord, let me check.
Uh, no, he didn't. Okay, well, yeah, it turns out I was just going into the game. He was probably waiting for me to say something, I don't know. I just replied to his messages, but yeah. Um, so, we're gonna go Dotling Farm Boomer here with jam packed tire blindness. I wonder what he's running. He could be running something like very like meme passive that should never work on this map because it's his style but this strategy should never work either so like it's kind of the same thing um he's probably thinking i'm running something like dotling ninja oh no he has super i am so sorry <laughs> this will work because he has super so it's gonna work ultimately Uh, so he's gonna stall the rounds by like delaying his sends, which I guess is a thing he can do, but I mean, I'm just gonna go for my purple darts and that's about it, yeah. Nothing too flashy going on for now. I'm just gonna go like aggressive and try to drain him by going for a lot of blues, which uh, his super obviously does not defend. So like if I send enough, it's gonna push through eventually. Which is what I'm going for. He, he could be going copy eco. I'm not sure if he is. He went for an epic range, which does defend because range increases pierce. And no, he has super eco boost, so I'm just going to use my own as well. Uh, so we have 357 eco and a farm, and he has a super monkey and no farms. Uh, so far, definitely progress. If he doesn't have a lightning, I automatically win round 8. Which I could try. It would be funny to win on yellows on the last game. <laughs> so he's just sending greens here. Okay. He's probably seeing Dotling Farm Boomer and thinking, what is bro doing? But <laughs> yeah, I'm running a meme strat, uh, which we did agree upon, so I'm sure he doesn't like mind. Like, this strategy should never work. I think Candy Skill can agree. Like, he's gonna watch this video, see I had this strategy the whole time, and be like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, obviously this never works, so I think this should count as a meme strategy, even if it's, like, aggro or whatever. Let me try. I just want to see if he would die round 8. He pop boosts. Is it enough? It's not enough. This actually goes through. Oh, he has lightning, okay. He has lightning, so I won't do anything against that. Um, now he's sending yellows in. That's fair to do. We should be good here. I'm just gonna wait until I can afford my puff dots and then I'll be chilling. All right, we're good here. Nice. And I'm just gonna send a lead. And he might have mortar once again, actually. He might be uh, really attached to his mortar farm super. Uh, I'm not sure what he has yet. Looks like he's planning to get up a Plasma Blast. Does he actually have Village? No way, right? Is he actually getting up a Plasma Blast? Surely. Okay, what? This should kill, so he has to Lightning, yeah. Oh my god, it's actually village. Well, let me jam pack tower blindness. Does this work? Yes! <laughs> Round 13 win. Jam pack tower blindness. <laughs> ah, GG Scandy skill. That was really cool. Thanks for playing me. Um, so yeah, free o but you know, it's because we went meme strats. He went way more meme than I did. So maybe I respected the theme a little less. You know what? Let's say in our hearts, Candy Skill won. He's always a winner anyways. Here's his profile, by the way, because I didn't show it earlier in the video. And uh, yeah, thanks Candy Skill for this collab. Of course, shout outs to, uh, to his YouTube channel. Go subscribe to him. And that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you already know what to do. You can like and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.